Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a new program called Asana that I truly believe will help you not only keep track of your clients, customers, and prospects, it will help you stay focused on moving forward with your Beachbody business. So this is basically Asana, and this is mine. I named mine The Revolution. And you can name your workspace anything you want it to be. All you're going to have to do is go to Asana.com and create your account with a valid email address and name your workspace. Once you get into your workspace, you can add the users. I'm using my users as dummy accounts so that I can assign each customer or client of mine to a specific area. Now you can use dummy accounts for these. What I did was I just made up email addresses at coachatmorris.com. These are non-existent emails, but it still allowed me to have that user on there. So I set up my user accounts based on the client life cycle in a way. I have challengers, clients, which are people who make purchases, coaches, and free customers and then myself so what I like to do is for my projects you're gonna want to figure out how you want yours laid out you might not want to use challengers clients free customers you might want to do it some other way but this is what I have found works will work pretty good for me so I have a power hour list which is all the things I need to complete during the day I assign these to myself um, right here it will pop up the side pane over here and here's my drink shakeology I assigned it to myself and I made this a reoccurring event so that each day as I check this off a new one will pop up and you just do that by going in and hitting repeat daily over here on the side and then each time you check this off it will generate another one for the next day so see it's already up there for tomorrow so this is a great way to have your daily list right there and it repeats itself so you never have to think about it a new one will pop up tomorrow and you'll see you have to do it another thing that I like to do on mine is projects the projects I'd like to create the things that I'm working on and the cool thing about these are within your side pane over here you can add subtasks so for each task you need to complete you can write out each piece that you will need for that task to be complete this is a great way if you're planning on doing something new to put on the action steps and chip away at it don't feel like you have to do it all at once but this lets you see what you need to do and you can do it piece by piece until the project has reached completion the next project I have is prospects I just started so I don't have a lot of people added in but this is how I'm going to do the prospect section um, basically you enter in the person. Oh, this is the one I did. Let's try this one. Okay. So you enter in the person, and a great way to keep track of them is to link their personal Facebook page. So when you do have to follow up with them, that you have a link already sent, you can make notes on what you've done with that person. And then once, like Shannon up here has already signed up as a coach, so she got checked off of this list and I've actually added her already to my team. So what I would do with this section for your prospects is you can use tags over here and you'll notice that Linda, Lindsay is already marked as a coach prospect, but you could use other tags for um, challengers, say somebody's a challenge prospect. Um, challenge group prospect would be a good tag or if it's for a specific challenge group 
you could put that specific challenge group name and then the cool thing when you come into the prospects is you can sort it by coach prospect challenge group prospect so if you're looking for a specific person you can filter it now I haven't assigned these people to anybody yet but these people would normal I would assign them to myself to me and you do that right over in the corner um, the next section I have is my team and here's where all these little assignments really come into play when I was deciding how I wanted to set mine up I wanted to be able to put my team all in one place but I wanted to be able to change who they were assigned to so I didn't have to move move people because if you start like creating groups of just coaches just free clients just purchasing clients then you're gonna have to move that person like say somebody is a prospect like Shannon was I had to actually copy her stuff from the prospect and put it into my team so I think this is an easier way of putting everybody in one place and then you can filter by um, coaches or assignment and that's this is where the assignment to the people come into play um, for my team I would assign somebody either as a challenger a client a coach or a free customer and by clicking on these over here I can see who all is assigned as a coach who all is assigned as a free customer who all is assigned as a client and who all is assigned as a challenger so that just saves me from having to move people with from within different projects to a different project so everybody can stay right here I can know what they're doing um, one thing I do do with my coaches and I'll put this in the the file that will accompany this video is I use tags you can use um, active, inactive, coach left, coach right, insanity, T25, Shakeology, challenge pack. You can really use any tag that you want to distinguish that customer and make it searchable. If they were in your fit to fabulous challenge group, you could put fit to fabulous challenger and then you'd be able to search people um, by the tags. So for coaches especially, this will let you like see how many active coaches you have and how many inactive coaches you have. So it's a great way to keep up with your team. You can see who was a challenger previously, uh, who has what program. And then now let's get into the follow-ups. So I'm going to go back into prospects. And I haven't really set mine up all the way yet, but... Let's use Lindsay again as an example. Okay, actually I have an example folder, so let's just go to that. Okay, these are four example people that I put in. I'm just gonna say that they're prospects. So let's go into um, Jill. I'm gonna assign Jill to myself. Let's say I just talked to Jill today. So usually, it's up to you what kind of a follow-up date you want to have if you want to have um, one specific or two specific days a week you want to follow up say Monday and Thursday or Tuesday and Friday then that's fine you can do it that way or you can like set it for every three to days so I'm just gonna say say I talked to Jill today and it's Saturday I'm gonna schedule my follow-up for three days so I'm gonna set it for the 19th um, I'm going to put in my details about Jill. Let's say I met her on my Facebook fan page. And she was interested in a challenge group. So now I have the details about Jill. I could paste in a link to her personal profile just in case we're not friends yet and I want to remember who she is um, I can put any other details about our conversation if she's married if she has kids struggles with her workouts and then I use the comments to pretty much log our conversations 
contacted Jill. Gave her all the details. Okay, so then all I have to do is comment and right there it timestamps it with today's date and the time. So now I have a history of my communications with Jill. When she replies, I will note it in the comments and I could potentially change the follow-up date if I talk to her sooner than that. So that's kind of how you would set up um, your follow-ups. Let's say I talked to John a few days ago. So let's say I'm supposed to follow up with him today. So see it says today in there. So now I'm coming on to Facebook and or I'm coming on to Asana and I need to see what I want to do today. So what is assigned for me today? Well, I have my power hour list and I have to check in with Betsy, Jill, Betsy and John. You can also sort it by date, which is what I like to do. And this will show me all of my assignments. So I know that I need to do all of this stuff today. So what I'm planning on doing for my team is I want to establish a regular consistent pattern of contacting people. Uh, whether it be with my free customers every couple weeks, with my challengers every week, with my coaches every week. And I can do this by uh, putting a due date on it. It's technically called a due date. So you would just put a due date on when, let's see. You would put a due date on it and it would give you the date. You can sort again by the date and it'll put everybody who you need to establish contact with in that date. So it's kind of a thought free process of seeing who you need to stay in contact with, if that makes sense. Now for challenge groups, I'm going to do it a little bit different. Um, I'm going to list my challenge and then I will know who is in it. So let's just okay this is what I did with this one. You can make it a category. Um, let me find how to do that. You can make it a section and then you could have all your people listed underneath of it or you can just put your say your challenge group is called the challenge so you want to start adding who is interested to it you could put Bill Jane Bob Kathy Susan okay so say these are the people that are interested in your next challenge group I would put details about the date what your challenge group is these are the people that responded uh, say Bill's the only one Bill's committed he's already committed to the challenge so you can mark him off um, as you go down you can make sure everybody gets committed to your challenge uh, this is just another another way that you can use this again I I've just started using this program so I potentially think that there is a lot of different things that you can do with it I definitely don't know everything yet but this is a little idea of how I'm using it and potentially how you could use it too I hope you found this a little bit helpful and if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me I will talk to you guys later and have an amazing day.